Now we're going to go through the process of recording. Now this is pretty simple. All you have to do at this point is either hit record or the hotkey you set up which is F9 and it will go ahead and record the screen for you. So we'll go ahead and hit F9 and you'll see that there's some little marks flashing here around the area that you've set to catch. So it'll just capture everything that you show on this in this region. If, for instance, if you bring up another program like Notepad and bring it into that region and start typing there, it's going to show that in the video. If you had a selected window, it wouldn't. It would just keep keep uh, recording the screen that you're on here, which is your browser. Okay, so once you're finished showing everything you're going to show, you end the video by clicking F10 or whatever you set your your shortcut key to. And I think F10 is the default. So if you hit F10, it goes ahead and renders the video and brings it up and starts to play it, as you can see here. Once you've played it through, make sure that it's okay. All you have to do is click the Save button and then you can save your project into the folder. So I'll just call it video one and we'll overwrite the one that's there. Okay, so it has finished rendering the recording and now you can go ahead and edit it. And it defaults to that. If you don't need to edit it, if you did everything perfectly, then you can just go ahead and create it in a shareable format, which we'll show in the next video. But in this video we're going to show some editing options. So click OK and it brings up Camtasia Studio. We'll move this out of the way and we'll go through some of the options here. So what you see up here is your clip bin, which is the clip you just created. And down here, this is your timeline. So our video is around just over 49 seconds long, 50.9 seconds. Timeline is where you do all of your editing. And we'll go through some of the options on the left here. Import media. You can import other AVI videos into here or any media file really sounds and whatnot and you can go ahead and find one and bring it in so you could bring this in okay now we have two videos sitting in here the one we just recorded and the one we just imported and we can add this to the timeline just by dragging it over here to the end of that one now these videos play one after the other right into each other and we'll go and do something about that in a little bit. Now there's some other things here. Title clips. And you can give each clip a title and you can give it a background image if you wanted and then you could type the title in here. So this is used previous to a clip as an introduction. So you could put introduction, intro clip is the name. Okay, then you can set the background color. Right now we got it set up black, but we can go ahead and make it any color we want. This is not going to be pretty. And then we can set the font, set the font color, and the size. It's just like a little word processor here. We can bold it and just say intro. introduction. When you're done, just click OK up here. And it added that to the clip bin. So you could drag that into the timeline prior to this. And you'll see that it's placed it in front of it. So if we were to play this now, you'll see that it plays the introduction that you just created there. And then right into the video. So that's what we do with that. And you can do that in front of any clip if you like. Voice narration. You can actually pick a section in the timeline and overlay the voice or put new voice in it. If you didn't have any voice in the clip in the first place, then you can you can narrate it from here. 
if you have some voice in there that is you garbled and made a mistake you can actually select that piece in the timeline okay get back to the main screen find where you want to edit beginning of where you want to edit the audio click on edit and then add a marker and you'll see that it placed a marker here oh you gotta give it a name now you can put several markers in a video that's why you name them and then you wanna record to there so if those are the regions you wanted to redo the voice you'd go back in and add a marker so there are your two markers so you can just drag those to the markers which they are at now and you can actually re-record the audio just by clicking voice narration and if you click start recording it will record until the end of selected time uh, on the timeline you can also to the end of the clip or the end of the timeline so you can do it however you want normally you're just going to select an area but if you've created a video with no sound in it you're going to narrate the whole thing then you would just do the whole timeline so at this point you would just start recording and then you would record your voice and notice how it's going across here and you'll hear the voice through your speakers as you're talking and you're overlaying it so once it gets to the other end of that it will stop recording and it will ask you to save the voice file until you've rendered the video so we'll see that in a sec it'll pop up okay so just give it a name just click finish and we've added some voice in there okay and then you can also record from the camera if you have a camera set up which we don't here but you can start recording from the camera and it will record right where you are in the line in the timeline here in the next video we'll just go over a few more editing options